All right, let's now welcome to the program the CEO of Connected Development, Mr. Hamzat Lawal, to discuss the Electoral Act and its impact on party primaries. Mr. Lawal joins us via Zoom. I thank you for joining us today on the program, News Across Nigeria. Thank you for having me. Good afternoon, Nigeria. All right, so political parties, civil society organizations, and many other stakeholders have continued to harp on the importance of the president signing the Electoral Amendment Act, especially its immediate effect on the presidential primaries. Let me ask you, do you think it's likely that the president will sign the Electoral Amendment Act before the end of this month as, you know, the political parties choose their presidential flag bearers? Well, I think that, you know, the pattern has shown that Mr. President have seemingly not uh, accepted to electoral laws in recent time without push. I believe that there's also an opportunity for civil society, the media, but particularly the Nigerian people, to put pressure on Mr. President and demand that he signs the new Electoral Act amendment that is before him. All right. Lawmakers in the House of Representatives are suggesting that there may be a crisis if the Electoral Amendment Act is not signed soon. What are your worries concerning that? I don't think there are any imminent crises. Uh, we all know that this is this. The 2022 Amendment Act is clear. Uh, ideally, with the guidelines from INEC, political parties should have submitted all the names of their delegates list. But I think there's still time, if Mr. President signed it or not, but it is relatively clear. The 2022 uh, Act that have been signed into law with the guidelines from the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Uh, by now, some of the political parties should have submitted their delegate list. So I don't think that um, there's any imminent crisis. All right. Many people say they are confident that the strict implementation of the Electoral Amendment Act will reduce money politics. Yeah. Um, I don't know, do you share this view? If money politics would have been reduced, uh, then political parties 